Yes, I understand your concerns, but there's really nothing I can do. We are the designated prime. We don't we... have the staff. We don't even have the proper equipment or the expertise. Hospital has had to make some very difficult choices we, recently. We don't have to be the primary designation for this Majax. We're stretched to breaking point. I know. Is it I'm sorry. unusual for the clinical lead to question the CEO? Management. To breaking point. I Was know. I cold? I'm sorry. The defense calls Mr. Henrik Hansen. Eric Griffin has carried out thousands of operations. His 90-day adjusted mortality rate at 2.1% is rather below what one might expect for a surgeon who accepts high-risk patients. He is a valued member of the trust executive. Gross negligence. Not just negligence, but gross negligence. Rick Griffin is the NHS. Noble in intent, inflexible of conscience, rational and objective, and yet full of a natural well of tremendous compassion. I've never come across a more principled, uh, obstinate, yes, insubordinate, yes, yet utterly loyal and brilliant surgeon. I am privileged to call him a friend. And <clears throat> I say that Rick Griffin is like the NHS because, like all human-made things, the NHS is flawed like the people who make it work. For we deal in empathy, and yet we reserve very little of it for ourselves. Men and women of science, if you like, tilting at windmills. Fighting battles we know can't be won, and yet fighting them nonetheless. Now, it is our nature to assign responsibility this is a necessary consequence of power, yet we must be very careful when we go on to apportion blame. Elaine Warren was a type 2 diabetic who ignored multiple care pathways designed to help her deal with her condition. Should we apportion blame to her? Rick Griffin would not. On the 2nd of October 2017, Holby City Hospital was the primary receiver for Majax victims of a motorway pileup caused by a driver texting whilst driving at 90 miles per hour. Now, should we apportion blame to him? Rick Griffin would not. He did not. Because all Rick Griffin sees are patients, the treatment they require, and his duty to provide it. Rick Griffin always provides that treatment to the very best of his ability, without fear or favor or prejudice. It is human to be flawed. Our grace is to take responsibility for those flaws. Um, Rick Griffin has always taken that responsibility. It's a very rare quality. Rick Griffin is a rare man of character. And if he is guilty of gross negligence, then so am I. Aren't we all?